Hi YouTube, um, it's Tom again. Um, I was going to talk about earthquakes today, um, but nothing very urgent is happen happening with the earthquakes today. Um, it's not really a pressing need for me to talk about it. I may talk about it a little bit later, um, but not right now. The main thing today I'm going to talk about is global warming. And I know you guys are going to roll your eyes at it. Global warming? I don't believe in global warming, honestly. I was a firm believer believer in global warming for a long time. Um, but as I saw some things unraveled and I prayed about it a little bit more, you know, I just started seeing kind of the agenda behind global warming itself. Don't, don't get me wrong. Um... I'm a green person myself, um, like I reuse stuff and, you know, it's just, I think it's just being normal, you know, like being green is being normal, you know, it's not about like, oh, reduce your carbon footprint and all, all that stuff, but, um, you know, I do like to, to, you know, recycle and reuse stuff and, um, but that's that's not the direction I want to go in today's topic. Um, uh, but I just kind of have a pressing need to talk about, you know, getting ready for something that's coming up. I don't know what is coming up. Um, I just feel like it's something bad. You know, a lot of people are about to die, I'm pretty sure. Um... But I think it's mainly from, uh, well, like I said, the earthquakes, but, you know, America's going to go through a shrinking period of, you know, food becoming, a, you know, shortage of food, um, vitamins going, you know, becoming non-existent unless without a prescription. And that goes into Codex Alimentarius which I'm not going to talk about it too much today because that's a topic within its own too. Uh, I could talk about Codex for forever. But um, anyways, there's not going to be uh, much of a choice here soon and people are going to be panicking and going to the grocery stores, you know, in the midst of the disasters that are going on in America and everything that's about to happen. Um... And, and it is going to happen, whether you guys don't think so or not. I have dreams about it. I'm not, like I said, I'm not a prophet, but, like, I just had dreams last night about it. It's, you know, and I pray every night before I go to bed, you know, if it's confirmation that I'm having dreams about this. And I have dreams about it every time I pray, which is every night. So I do believe that something is going to happen I am a Christian myself. I don't know, you know, if I'll be taken up in the rapture, but I believe, you know, when the rapture happens, I think it's going to be mid-trib because I just have a feeling that, you know, the Christians never got spared in the past and in the Bible. Why would they get spared now? You know, some of God's wrath. And, um, you know... Christians way back when got fed to the lions. I mean, you don't think that the Christians are going to be let off the hook now. I don't, I don't think so. I think God's people will have to suffer before we go up and get to live eternally in heaven forever and ever. But anyways, um, there are a couple of steps I've taken myself. Here, just a second. There are a couple of steps I have taken myself. Um into uh, making my future a little bit better for me. Um, and I'm on the second floor apartment here, so this was kind of hard for me to do. But I made a garden out here, and I have grow lights because it's in the shade. But... um. there and all the way back there and see I have broccoli I have green peppers I have tomato plants cherry tomatoes snow peas are in the cups back here with the onions 
strawberries, um, just, you know, various things that would be good to eat. And that's my cat, I'm sorry. It's kind of getting in the way. But, um, you know, that's something that I'm doing to, to assure a better future for me. Oh, yeah, I'm also growing romaine, too, in which my cat's stepping all over right now. I have to deal with that. Um, but, you know, that's something that I'm going to be working on for a while as, as the summer gets closer and, you know, crops get bigger. Um, probably be expanding to the garden, too, add a couple more planks. and That's a lot of soil to fill in, too, um, and bring up the stairs. Um, and I have, in case if that fails, I have in my closet at least 600 pounds of food, um, lots of vitamins, probably about another 200 pounds of water. It goes all the way back there. So... And if it doesn't, if the shit doesn't hit the fan, you know, for a little while now, I'm going to just keep replenishing that, um, so it, you know, is not expired or anything like that. I would not want to eat expired food, unless if I want to, um, go around the can seals with tar and, you know, ensure a longer life lifespan for the can but I, I don't feel like doing that to 200 300 400 cans of canned food um but um yeah that's that's what i'm doing um i'm being proactive in other ways i'm not gonna reveal um like i saw a man do a youtube thing just like this and uh he said, you know, to never show your weapons or what you have, um, and I'm not, I'm not going to show that, you know, that's something that, you know, it's personal, and, you know, if I have to protect my life with it by, you know, ending somebody else's life to protect me, my family, or my very close friends, you know, that's something personal, so... I'm I'm not going to get that personal with with everybody. I just wanted to show you what I'm doing to, you know, make steps to, you know, the right the right path and, you know, have a brighter future um for myself and for my close friends and family. But um that's all I have for now. I may make uh another video later today. If not, um, I'll probably start making them, uh, these videos every day, um, but that's all I have for you guys. Thank you.